Hello guys. Now that the first ever COD Next event has finished, and um, the Modern Warfare 2 beta has just started, I wanted to talk about 5 things that you need to know in Warzone 2 in under 5 minutes, so let's get into it. So Infinity Ward has announced that Warzone 2 is coming worldwide on the 16th of November. It's had quite a lot of changes compared to the first Warzone, so let's get through the list. Okay, so to start off, the new map is called Al Mazra and it's made up of some old maps from the original Modern Warfare 2 multiplayer. Sources say that Infinity Ward actually started working on Al Masra back in 2020, so it's had tons of work on it since then. The second thing to note is there are no loadouts in Warzone 2. You'll need to buy your custom weapons that you make in the new gunsmith using cash looted from around the map, and that includes perks as well, all bought from a buy station. Grenades and tactical equipment can only be picked up off the ground. And next up, there are more circles. As the game progresses, circles will begin to split and form a cluster of smaller circles around the map. This helps to promote movement and a variety of gameplay. It also seems quite effective against camping as well. So the biggest and probably strangest change is the new Gulag. It's no longer 1v1, it's a 2v2. This means enemies in the war zone will be fighting for escape alongside you in the Gulag. You'll need to loot weapons and grenades to either defeat your opponents, or find an escape key to get out before you get killed. And lastly, AI are placed around the map in various locations that offer a small reward for kills. They're mainly hanging around strongholds, but they also seem to be randomly dotted around the map as well, so look out for them. And there you have it, that's 5 things you need to know before dropping into Warzone 2. It'll be free to play, and there's also shared progression with Warzone Mobile, so when that launches later on in 2023, you'll be able to share your progress with that as well. Anyway, with that said, I'll be focusing more on Call of Duty Warzone and Modern Warfare 2 in the coming weeks, so keep an eye out for new videos. And don't forget to subscribe and smash that like button, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye!